As I promised, I'm gonna show you around my room. So we are at the entrance and let's go ahead. So this is basically the entrance to my room and here we are, my lovely bedroom. Uh, I am recording with the daylight, uh, at least what's left of it because you know, it's winter so maybe we should do it with the artificial one as well. So this is how it looks as you walk in. Um, it's not too big, the room, and also the bed is super massive. Um, so it takes most of the space, but that's okay. And by the way, if you hear any noises and voices in the background, no, these are not ghosts. Um, we live in a twin house, like, you know, two houses stuck together and right by the wall, uh, there are my neighbors doing some weird procedures, so uh, I don't know what they're doing. Are they building a bunker? I don't know, but it's noisy, so I'm very, very sorry about that. And let's move on. So this is how you walk in, and here is the first bit. Uh, I love these wooden floors. Everything looks very, like... I don't want to say cottagey, but kind of cottagey, you know what I mean? <laughs> like a modern cottage. And here are my beautiful posters. I really love them. Um, especially this one, like this girl with pierced bosom, so cool. And of course, those beautiful palm trees. They just give the room a vibe, you know? It's all black and white. All the paintings that I have in the room are black and white and they just give the room a vibe. By the way, uh, let me know what you think about this wall. Should I leave it plain like that? Um, by the way, it's a sage color, I don't know the name, uh, but should I leave it plain like that or should I put like a sage, maybe a leafy wallpaper on it? Let me know what you think, but I'm kind of thinking that this wall and maybe this wall right here, this little part, would look very good with um, an additional wallpaper. But let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna close the door so we have a little more intimacy from those noisy neighbors. And yeah, here we are. So the bed is from Ikea and I really like it. It's like this metal black and gold bed. It is the biggest size that they have, so I think it's the king size. And those nightstands I ordered from Netherlands. So yeah, I'll try to link them below, but they're really cool. And they do look black at the moment, but they're actually gray. Uh, maybe as I walk um, towards them, you will see that they're gray. But yes, this is the bed. All the bedding is either from TK Maxx or TG Maxx, as you call it in the States. And the sheets are actually mostly from Ikea. And I really, really like how it looks. And uh, yeah, I have a little sage blanket here. Uh, I really opted for very natural fabric. So everything is either silk or cotton. And these pillows are so cute as well. Uh, I really, really like it. And I have different textures. So, you know, we have this fluffy one. We have some plumetti one. We have some um, ornaments as well as the duvet is an ornament and we have this very hotel feel like um, white with black trim. So it all looks very, very nice together. I really love how it turned out. And of course, guys, my sleep and glow pillow is back. I destroyed my first one, which was my bad. Um, but uh, Sleep and Glow team kindly sent me another one. And guys, I have a discount code for the upcoming month of December. You will get so many great discounts for this pillow. 
this is a godsend for me this is my favorite favorite thing of all time if i could have only one uh you know a little bit pricey thing i would always pick this pillow this is like the best um, Christmas gift for you or your loved ones. Trust me, my mom uses it. Uh, everyone loves it. And uh, not only it prevents you from wrinkles because of those dents, but also it makes you sleep so beautifully. It's tested by dermatologists and I've never slept better than on this pillow. So sleep and go. The code and the link will be below. Check it out. I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, out of all the things I'm going to show you today, this is the best. So yes, uh, my Sleep and Glow pillow and of course all those big ones. And here we've got my nightstand. Oh, now you can actually see that it is grey. It's all wood of course and it has this nice natural wood top. And these lamps are from a Polish, um, like a homeware store, like a luxurious homeware store. And they're beautiful. This is like a crystal lamp. And it is gold and a little bit of silver. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah, all the uh, bits and bobs that I have are usually from TJ Maxx. And this um, this is a pot plant <laughs> pad. I use it as my bin. Because, you know, you lay on the bed. Sometimes you have to sneeze. You blow your nose. And all that gunk goes here. I don't have to, like, you know, throw it around my bedside table or anything. Everything is clean so i have this little pot plant which is <laughs> which is my <laughs> um bedside table bin so yeah that's that of course um, all my evil eyes are on the walls as well you know um i know that my room is not the most feng shui uh, room of all time uh, especially that i have mirrors in my room and stuff but you know i'm rolling with it i'm not complaining i sleep well here all right so of course, the uh, windows, I have those nice um, floor-to-ceiling windows. And as you can see, I have quite a nice view on the field and my garden, uh, which doesn't look the best at the moment, but um, trust me, it looks beautiful in spring and summertime. Okay, here we have another dresser. This is also from Ikea. This is Kopang, but the small one. And I found those beautiful knobs in TJ Maxx and I completely renovated it. Also, I did uh, hot glue this. So yes, this is my first dresser and on the dresser, hello, hello, hello everyone. On the dresser, we've got some lady again, my favorite jewelry from She Said Yes. I actually used this beautiful box to store most of my gold dainty pieces i cannot open it with one hand sorry okay let's skip that um and yeah i do have some jewelry that, that i wanted to wear today but for the life of me i cannot put it on with these long nails so yeah here i have um the book that i'm currently reading and my notebook you know to just write down some stuff and ideas and of course my favorite home diffusers cape island love those they're so pretty and this is also from TK Maxx. This is like a, a beach coconutty sand-like candle. This is from H&M and this is my massive router. <laughs> you guys know that I work online on social media so I have to have massive internet. So yeah, there's no other place I could put it so it's here. And of course my corner Barcelona beautiful advent calendar which I'm actually... Am I going to open it today? Maybe not. Maybe in another video. Um, so yes, that is that on this counter. And I'm going to walk you through my drawers as well. So here I have my pajamas. And uh, mostly I wear silk and I only have a couple of cotton pajamas. But they're like, you know, with feathers and stuff. So I basically make a fashion show every night. I love my beautiful pajamas. So... Yeah, they're here. I especially love these with those beautiful ornaments. Oh, gorgeous. So yes, these are pajamas. Here I've got my lingerie. So I don't think it's that interesting. 99% um, of my lingerie is from Intimissimi. So yeah, I just color coordinated them. So that's that. 
And last drawer is like socks and shapewear, a lot of skims here, you know, so that's that. And on the other side, we have another big window, which is actually, you know, those anti-theft, um, how do you call it? You know, these uh, blinds that are anti-theft, it's on because, you know, it's going to be nice time soon. And this is actually like the parking space and the entry and I, I don't want people walking around and seeing me record, you know what I mean? Ah. Okay, here we've already been because I showed you my whole makeup and skincare collection and all that jazz. So I'm not going to go through this um, dresser because you guys already know. If you haven't seen it, the link will be below. But I love how it looks, especially with that Louis Vuitton poster because it's black and white. And on the top of my um perfume collection we've got some chanel boxes and normally i would never do that like trust me i would never ever ever keep the boxes because i always thought it's so weird however with this room it just looks so nice and i couldn't help myself so i left um i kept one box uh from the bag uh, that I recently bought and yeah, that that's it, but it looks lovely, doesn't it? It looks so lovely with all those black and white accents with some wooden accents and greens gorgeous uh, Of course perfume collection. I'm not gonna go through it now because you've already seen it So again, check it out if you haven't seen it already And what else what else um on the bed is just uh, you know I just put my bag that I currently use by the way this is like an old collection of cappuccine from Louis um, and this is the one that um, Miranda Kerr uh, used to wear in one of the campaigns so I really really loved it so yeah that's that and now we have my uh, closet my closet and as you can see this is not the prettiest but here I have all the clothes that I'm not currently wearing. So we have my skiing clothes, we have my swimsuits here, we have my summer dresses, you know, everything spring, summertime is currently here. Uh, just because I do not have that much space in my closet at the moment. You know, I, to be completely honest guys, I was used to having walk-in closets in my old houses, both of them. And this is the first time that I don't. Uh, so, you know, I really had to maneuver stuff properly <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is what I came up with. I know it's grey, maybe it's not the best colour, maybe I should have gone with white, but I was very concerned that white boxes would get um, basically shitty looking after a while, you know, they would get dirty and all that jazz. So, yeah, I went with the grey ones and you know what, I'm gonna keep it like that. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to also show you how I managed to uh, put my clothes together in this big, I mean it's still big but it's not massive, you know. So here I have all my sweaters and jumpers, so I again color coordinated it. Here we have the um, sage and greens, here we have the nude and beige, here we've got the blacks. And here I have my t-shirts and um, in these boxes I have my gym t-shirts, you know, because they're quite, uh, you know, the fabric is quite flimsy, so it would not stay put like that. So I put them all in boxes like these that also match everything in the room, right? Here I have pink jumpers and pink sweaters and some greys. And here I have those three big drawers from Ikea. And here I have my, also like gym wear, like leggings. Uh, here I have my joggers. And here I have my jeans and smart pants, which are all black. Obviously, I love black pants because I have a big booty and uh, I feel the best wearing black on my bottom. You know, I go crazy at the top. <laughs> so here is the other side of the closet. And here, again, in those big grey boxes on this high shelf, I have all my bags. And I don't want to really go through them today. Um, first of all, it will take a lot <laughs> to just take them out, spread them around so you can see them. So if you want to see my updated handbag collection, 
let me know but they're all stored in there and here I basically have all my hanging clothes so all the blouses all the shirts and my coats so yeah here we have the blacks um you know I don't know if you even want to see it but yeah here we have the blacks here we have the whites and beige and cheetahs and we are moving on to purples and pinks and then beige again and then sage stuff uh, with these are so nice with those feathers and then we have the blues and my massive this is hanging here because it's so big like look at those fluffs um, so it has to be you know somewhere a little bit away from the rest and here again I have everything in my gray boxes and here I have shoes pretty much all my shoes are here uh, of course some shoes are still stored as well like those uh, you know high heeled sandals and flat sandals for summer they are all at the top but at the bottom I have stuff that I actually use uh, so in one box I have my uh, sneakers and training shoes here I have my winter like you know um, Uggs and stuff like that and here I have like booties and you know basically all the shoes that I might wear and it looks small but trust me there's a lot of shoes in there and I'm very actually happy that I store them in this way we do have a walk-in closet in this house for shoes specifically um, however I feel like this is so much more convenient for me at the moment because um First of all, I always keep them very clean because I know I have to put them back in one of the boxes. And second of all, they're not getting dusty. They are just perfectly stored. So yeah, I, I keep my shoes in here at the moment. And yeah, this is the closet. And uh, here I just have my Chanel bag. And look, I just got those cool hangers. I think I want to get more and maybe put another one here and I can have another bag here. Um, it's so convenient and so easy for everyday use. And yes, this is how it looks at the moment. Let me know if you have some nice cool ideas, what I should do. Uh, I have this cute little basket for my blankies because I love a good blanket, you know. And this one is so cute with the reindeers. So that is that. Uh, and this is it guys this is how I currently live in Poland again it's not a massive room at all uh, but the rest of the house is quite spacious which gives me a lot of um, you know opportunities and good ideas to film um, so yeah sometimes I'll film here obviously uh, but other times I'm gonna film in the living room you know I'm just gonna maneuver it so that is that and oh by the way I just got this super cool coal like a rose gold uh, cabin suitcase and I'm obsessed with it so so cute so it's staying here because uh, I'll be traveling soon so I just have it on hand and yes guys that is it for today let me get to the mirror so you can see at least some of my face okay let me all right there we go Thank you so much for watching my darlings. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in my next one. And I will probably do a house tour soon because why not, right? Uh, maybe I will also give you some storage ideas and you know, all that jazz because I love having a clean house with perfect storage. This is just my jam. So that is it for today. And yeah, again, see you tomorrow because it's Vlogmas, right? So I'm filming pretty much every day. I love you. Bye.